Good afternoon to all my wonderful viewers out there and welcome back to another top five video. In today's video, I'm going to be discussing my top five favorite pieces from Palace's Autumn 2023 collection. Well, now that the Autumn 2023 season is over, guys, it's time for us to round off the season by doing a top five video discussing my favorite top five pieces from the season itself. And I need to hurry up with this because they've already dropped the lookbook for the winter 23 season, and I need to get to covering that as soon as possible as well. So <laughs> if anything, well, actually, kind of like usual i'm behind on it so i do need to actually just get on top of it and knock out these videos and get it done but uh yeah well we'll kick that off by doing the first video that i have to do which is summarizing and ending the autumn 23 season by talking about my top five favorite pieces from it so uh yeah it's come to a close guys um we've got a couple collaborations this season one with Averex, one with Carhartt Work in Progress, one with McDonald's. Will any of those collaborative pieces feature in this top five video or will it just be seasonal pieces? You guys will just have to stay tuned and we'll see what we're going to get. Although you, uh, watching my videos over this uh, over this season, you could probably gauge that the McDonald's pieces are probably not going to make an appearance. <laughs> but hey, maybe I might surprise you. We'll have to see. Uh, I'll arrange these pieces from my, I guess, my least favorite out of the top five to the most favorite. I'll talk about why I like them, what I wish we could change about them, um, and how I would wear them, all that good stuff. But uh, let's get into it, guys. Let's start talking about my fifth favorite piece from the Autumn 23 season. For piece number five, guys, of the Autumn 23 season, I've got to give it to the Palace Averex leather jacket because, I mean, you can kind of see it showcased down there on the bottom rack down there. I am a big fan of leather jackets. Collaborative leather jackets also are a selling point for me. I just love them. They're an awesome staple for the winter season. I unfortunately didn't actually get to wear a lot of them in the winter season that we've had as of late because it was the hottest winter that Australia has had for like 60 years or something like that. Something insane. So they've actually had to sit on the shelf for this season, which has been really disappointing, but that didn't stop me being interested in the one that Palace released with Averex this season. Uh, it's this really nice gray leather jacket featuring this very like, I was gonna label it as Gothic, but it's probably not the most accurate name for this kind of font style, but we've got the Averex leather um, logo featuring across the chest there, a leather patch on the arm, uh, it features, the, features this like varsity jacket style, like cuffs and hem. Uh, we've got a very, very padded diamond quilt on the interior there. We've got a very nice logo on the back of it there. New York, London, Tokyo, um, Palace, all this, all these graphics and everything like that. All these leather patches on the back of it. Um, a little Palace logo up on the collar as well. It's just a really nice piece. It only came in one color. They chose a very nice color for it. The graphics of it I really like. It reminds me of like some like late 90s hip hop leather jackets uh, that I've seen in a lot of music videos or even stretching to the early 2000s. It really all depends on what size you buy as well because the fit of this jacket does look very baggy, not very fitted at all. But if you wear it super, super oversized, I'm probably gonna pin it as like early 2000s if you wear it a little oversized maybe 90s but it's an aesthetic that i think streetwear really gets around and i could definitely see myself wearing something like this uh just not right now because now that spring has started it is really really sunny and really warm out there and i didn't even get to wear it in the winter season but i definitely would have liked to wear if it was a lot colder this season i could see myself wearing something like this uh it's just a very nice piece i could easily wear it in a very like streetwear themed outfit for sure but uh yeah that is my fifth favorite piece from the autumn season guys the collaborative leather jacket uh it's a fantastic piece and i can't wait to see more palace avrex collaborations moving forward piece number four guys yes it is very safe but this series isn't the top five loudest pieces of the season it is just my top five favorites and my favorites don't always i guess have to consist of very loud pieces <laughs> but that is a trend for me whenever i do come to streetwear brands i do like the very loud pieces the very 
out there pieces. It, it's why I come to these brands. But in this circumstance, for piece number four, I didn't really feel that way. I was I looked at this shirt and I was like, you know what? This is just a solid palace shirt. But I have been warned by you guys because I don't actually own any palace shirts. I've heard the palace shirts fit horribly. I will have to, I guess, make a, you know, a decision on that. Maybe at one point I will pick up a palace shirt in like an extra large or a 2XL and see how it fits. But I have listened to your warnings. I'll have to look at the measurements and stuff because I do like my, when I do wear like shirts and stuff, I do like them excessively oversized because I wear them as like a piece by itself. I don't wear them to wear under like a jacket or anything like that. I have t-shirts to do exactly that. And if I was to buy this piece, that's exactly how I'd wear it. I'd wear it as like a super oversized t-shirt, not meant to fit under a jacket or anything. Like it's going to be large on me. That's how I like them. So I'd have to suss this out and see if that's going to work that way. I wouldn't buy it in this melted sugar. I wouldn't buy it in this ultra blue. I wouldn't buy this in the lavender. The colors I'd probably go for would be a little bit more conservative. I think I'd go for like the white, the black, and maybe the gray, but I don't have any gray shirts in my wardrobe at the moment. And if I would want to wear a color that I'd, um, like I was kind of describing, would just wear by itself as like an individual piece. I feel like I'd just buy the black or the white, but I just like the simple palace logo slapped into the middle of the chest there. It's just a nice piece. I just thought, you know what? Nice logo, nice piece. I like this palace logo. We've seen it a lot over the past couple of years. I'm happy with this. I like this. And uh, yeah, I could see myself wearing this shirt more than the Averex jacket. Um, just because I guess the Australian weather recently, that's probably one of the main driving reasons why I put this as piece number four instead of piece number five. I could just see myself wearing a black or white t-shirt like this way more often because of the weather. So yeah, um, I would like this piece in an extra large or a 2XL. We'll have to see what kind of sizing is left, what it actually released in, but I'd also have to check out the measurements because yeah, I want it as big as possible and I have heard your warnings about palace shirts there. But uh, yeah, well, I, I just like these two colors of it. I could see myself wearing it a lot and coming into spring, summer, I could see myself wearing something like this. So uh, I had to mention it as piece number four from the autumn 23 season into piece number three not a silhouette that i normally pick up from like clothing brands these days uh, i don't generally buy jerseys my aesthetic these days isn't centered around like sports pieces and things like that but when i saw this piece i was like you know what this would be a really nice piece to just rock in spring or in summer either as just like lounge wear or like as I was just talking about in like a sports themed outfit I could see myself wearing something like this it's a very nice piece what we have is the contender mesh jersey coming in a white with a very nice green palace logo on the chest there nothing on the back love it for that we've got it coming in a navy with like a gold logo here as well love it very nice color nothing on the back and then we've got it coming in a black with a black logo. Again, no complaints, no issues, nothing. Those are the three colors. I love all three colors. I think all three actually look really nice. I think my favorite is gonna have to go to the white though. I just think it looks a lot nicer with that green logo on it. The Out of the other two, what's position number two? Oh, I don't know if I would give it to the black or the navy. Maybe the navy, just because like the gold logo kind of gives it that little bit of a pop. And the black on black, like it's fine, it's okay. Um, but yeah, it's um, it's white logo with the black fill in it is kind of like, yeah, it's all right. But yeah, I just think it's a really nice piece that I could see myself wearing in the, um, in the spring summertime. And like I kind of mentioned, if I was to wear it in a very like sports themed outfit, I could easily do so. Like I could match it with some Jordans here. Um, I don't have any Adidas shoes, but I could definitely see an outfit working quite well with that with some nice fitting jeans or something like that. Yeah, it's just a really nice jersey that Palace released. They didn't go too crazy with the logos. And I'm, I'm thankful for that. Like I actually really like how they just went simple logo on the chest, nice mesh material. It's gonna be like super breathable. 
It's perfect. When Australia is burning in the summertime in 2023, I could see myself wearing this because this would look really nice. But uh, yeah, loved all three colors of it. Could see myself wearing it in the spring summer season for Australia. I had to give it a shout out as piece number three. Now for piece number two, this one, it's probably going to be a bit of an uphill battle to convince you guys that it deserves spot number two, but I really liked this piece. So what we have is just, well, it's just called the denim jacket this season. It comes in the mega palace color where it's just this, from what I can see, it's just this like all over print of all these different palaces just like thrown together, which works quite well with like the brand name being palace. But uh, yeah, it's just crazy in this all over print. I do like it. It's a nice indigo color with this all over print applied to it, but it wouldn't be the color that I would gravitate towards to straight away. I'm going to cycle through and we'll go to this second color complete opposite right what a juxtaposition having this color next to this it's just crazy <laughs> but like this is the one that i'm more keen on classic is a fan of the one that's black yeah i know i know but alice doing a type one denim jacket they had to get props for me for that they absolutely had to get props for me for that it's a simple pleated design single pocket um easy all over black color no logos no nothing just a nice little well besides this leather patch on the back that's it it's a very short fit but that is the fit of first uh denim jackets that's the style of them palace had to get a shout out from me from that i love first denim jackets i love how they fit i love seeing more brands do them um i can definitely see this hitting off in japan and just with a lot of people like me that are a big fan of first denim jackets it's nice to see palace changing it up by doing this type of silhouette for denim jackets i'm honestly kind of bummed out that they didn't do more colors of this like i get it they did this all over print one fantastic it works with the denim that released this season but could we have got it in like a stone wash or like a white or just any other colors i would have loved that i would love to see that but it's 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 fine in the colors that it, it came out in i'll take it um would i get it in the mega palace color i'm not gonna say no I could see myself wearing something like this. I'd wear like a blank, uh, a black tank top and then some nice denim, um, this over the top of it, a nice hat, either this like Kangle hat that I've got or the brimmed hats that I've got from lack of color. Uh, like I, I could style it. I could see myself wearing something like this, no doubt. I could definitely put an outfit together for it. It's not impossible, um, but I definitely think I'd go with the more conservative black, definitely. My wardrobe currently, I've only got one black denim jacket, and it's the collaborative one between Anderson Pack and Levi's, where they did like a limited run of their Type 3 denim jacket for his Oxnard album. It's a fantastic jacket. Absolutely love it. Awesome stuff. But it has a big uh, embroidery on the back of it, which kind of turns me off of it these days, because I would also like just a black denim jacket to wear that doesn't have this type of, you know, this huge logo on the back of it. So I'd either go to Palace or Capital re recently released a first denim jacket in black, the traditional navy indigo one that they normally do. They released it in black and uh, it's just that timing because I would have absolutely gone to Palace for it. But now that Capital has done it, I'm kind of like, ah, oh, now I've got two options. <laughs> now I have to choose. You didn't have to make me choose, guys. Like, come on. So we'll have to see. Um, this one's probably sold out. I haven't actually checked the online store to see if it's still available in my size. So I might have to go the Capital route. My hands are kind of tied here. We'll have to see. But um, like if I stumble across it and um, I, I end up picking it up, I'll have to pick up one or the other. Although I am currently looking to clear out some of my wardrobe to buy jackets that I'd more regularly wear. So I think I need to go about that process first before buying like more and more jackets and things like that. I say that with a undercover jacket on the way, but it is what it is, I suppose. But cycling back to it, fantastic color options. Love the silhouette. Had to give it a shout out as piece number two because I just love type one denim jackets. You're always going to have my support if you do that. So I had to give Palace that support and put it as piece number two.
For piece number one, guys, drum roll, please. No, I mean, I probably could actually, like, put a big black, like, um, just photo over the top of it so you guys wouldn't know what it is and then actually reveal it to you, but I'm not going to go through that editing process and actually do it. Here's, here's item number one. <laughs> Here it is, the para, oh, Palabera? Palabera shirt. Okay. Probably not the most autumn piece that you think of but i loved this piece and unfortunately the max merch more instagram post that we used to cover the week that this piece dropped in didn't actually have it showcased in it so i'm sorry guys if you were actually hunting for this piece and you were confused on when it dropped that's kind of my bad um the max merch more instagram post just didn't have it but this is my favorite piece this season why it is perfect for the spring summer season. We've got it coming in a white. We've got it coming in a navy. We've got it coming in a black. It comes in all the basic essential colors that you need. I love it. It's a button down shirt. We can see that with the buttons, how they button down, kind of in the name. Um, it features simply just a pattern design on both panels here. It looks fantastic. The tonal design, amazing. Kind of wish the buttons were a little bit more exciting, but it is what it is. Not going to complain about it too much. I think this would just be an awesome piece to wear over the top of a tank top for this spring summer season. And if the spring season is starting off with 20 or mid 20 degrees days like it is currently, summer is going to be hellfire down in Australia. So I'm going to be wearing tank tops. I'm going to be wearing all the Stussy and Capital button-up shirts that I picked up over the past 12 months. I'm so glad that I planned that out because that's going to work out really, really well. Would I add this one to my collection of button-up shirts? Absolutely. It's going to be my first button-down shirt. <laughs> um, it's just awesome. The design, the colors it comes in, I cannot complain about this in any way, shape or form. Would I wear this? Absolutely, I'm going to have to wear it in the spring summer season because as I just said, Australia is just going to be scorched earth. It's just going to be ridiculous. I can already see it now. If this is how the season's going to be shaping up, I'm worried. It's going to be stinking hot. Um, yeah, this summer, it's going to be something. It's going to be something. But uh, hopefully, if this is still sitting around in an extra large size, Alice might have me sorted, but I'm not really like clambering to pick this one up because like I just said, over the past 12 months, I have picked up a lot of button up shirts. So I feel like I kind of have it covered, but if it's there, you know, it's hard. It's hard. I've already got what I need for spring, summer. So I'm going to need those, I guess that motivation to pick one of these up, but I would pick up any of them because it's just, it's just an awesome shirt in any of the colors, black, white navy whatever they want to give it to me in i'll take any of them because i could wear any of these very easily very versatile as i said there's nothing i can like pick on it for like i don't know what material it is maybe i could nitpick about that maybe i could be like oh palace should have done it in rayon or they should have done it with a silk blend or something like that but now we're nitpicking so i feel like we've gone past the part of like the visually like interesting parts about it. Now we're nitpicking on like the materials and stuff like that. I don't know, like, yeah, it's just awesome. I love it. I had to mention it as piece number one. It's not the most autumn piece to use for the autumn 23 season, but I had to mention it as piece number one guys, cause I would definitely wear something like this and I absolutely love it. Definitely my favorite piece from the autumn 23 season. But uh, now that I've covered all my top five favorite pieces from the autumn 23 season, I really need to hurry up and start doing the winter 23 lookbook, but I'll get to that shortly. <laughs> I want to hear from you guys. How do you feel about any of these pieces? Do you also like them? Do you not like them? Do you hate my list? Do you love my list? I'd love to hear it. Let me know what your thoughts are on any of the five pieces that I've mentioned down in that comment section below. But there we go, guys. Uh, that is everything I really have to say about the Autumn 23 season and my top five favorite pieces from the season. I want to have that conversation with you guys in the comment section below about what your top five favorite pieces are from the Autumn 23 season. Did you love all the Carhartt stuff? Did you love the McDonald's stuff? 
Or maybe you liked a lot of the seasonal pieces, kind of like how I showcased here in the top five video. Look, I love having a chat with you guys about all the brands that we talk about on the channel and anything that you have to say. So please let me know what your top five favorite pieces from the Autumn 23 season are down in that comment section below. And of course, if you guys want me to keep covering the upcoming Palace releases, if you want me to keep covering, you know, the winter season and everything like that when it drops, you know what I'm going to ask you for. I'm going to ask you for those three indicators that I never shut up about. I want, to, I want you guys to let me know with a like on this video, a comment in that comment section down below. And if you haven't already, a subscribe to the channel is the best indicator you can give me. And if you have already subscribed, tell some mates, tell your grandma, tell your mum, tell your family and friends, and hopefully with your guys' continuous support, we can reach the milestone that I've set for the channel of 3,715 subscribers. Hopefully we can hit that with your continuous support before the end of the month. But that is everything I got to say about these pieces, guys. The Autumn 23 season was a fun season to cover. I'm looking forward to covering the winter season with you guys. Um, hopefully I can get the week one video out before it drops. That is going to be a huge, huge week. But I've first got to cover the lookbook. Ah, oh, there's so many things, man. I've got my notepad in, on my computer just filling up with video ideas and things that I need to get around. I just, too many videos, not enough time in the day. <laughs> but we can slowly get through it. You know, you just got to tick one off at a time, you know, we'll get through it. But uh, yeah, that's everything I got to say, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Um, so until the next top five video, until the next streetwear talk video, until the next palace skateboards video in general, guys, I'll catch you later.